2015 Euro B Championships in uh, Hearts in the UK, just out north of London. We have our esteemed flagman Kevin Griffin with a, a rather large flag, I might add. But yeah, the event is looking really good. We're here on Friday practice. And uh, yeah, the, the Hearts track crew have done a fantastic job with the track. As you can see, a couple of AstroTurf sections right over here. Slightly bumpy entry to the straights. Not doing a track walk with you, just going to talk with a few random key people around here, drivers and different personalities. You can see this uh, rather dark section. They've added some uh, natural oil to the track, and in particular in the little chicane section in the middle of the track, it's quite, uh, quite grippy, to say the least. But yeah, verdict from the track, um, well, racers, I guess. They're, they're all really positive about the track, um, having a lot of fun, a lot of praise, and yeah, hopefully the Euro B goes well and we might be back here in a couple of years' time for a, a slightly larger Euro, maybe. Anyway, let's go walking around in the pits. So we are here at Hertz in the Night Hertz Nitro Model Club. Uh, this is the home for this Euro B here in the UK. And uh, I have to say from, uh, from effort point of view that talking with many drivers coming from many different countries, that most of them are absolutely happy with the venue and with all the facilities, and they love the track, they really love the track. So I have heard from some Britons say, uh, what is your opinion about this venue for ECA? And I have to say the same as Chile, uh, do it well on this event, and your chances to be the host for ECA will improve for sure. And who knows, probably in two years we will be back here with much more drivers. That will be oh, potential winner in this event. That's a hard question. Uh, we are on the second round of practice of today, which is uh, control practice. Right now I have seen the young Spaniard from Hobau making uh, seven laps 506 with a mistake of six seconds. So he was able to make eight laps. So I think probably tomorrow morning we're going to see eight laps on this track, weather permitting. And... Uh, that Ricky Berton, the Spaniard, one Swiss, one, uh, one or two from each country will be candidates. Jan Perric Sart uh, Sartel, uh, Figueiredo from Portugal. Uh, there are several names, more than five, more than six, even closer to ten than to other figure that can win this event. So it's going to be an open battle until the very last minute. That's it.